Step right up, boys and girls. This one's gonna be a hit. Just to tell you in advance, I'm gonna cheat a little bit today. These uh, episodes that I'm shooting are taking a lot of my time. So today, under the excuse of shooting the video, I'm gonna have some fun with my family. I invite you to do the same. Just one thing, I wanna say a big thank you to all of you who subscribe to my channel. You know who you are. And uh, I've seen that a lot of people are sharing. Thank you so much for that as well. Uh, so subscribes, likes, shares, they mean a world to me. Thank you very much. After reading some of the most eminent scientific journals, I have concluded that the best course of action in this case would be, would be to create an um, obstacle course in which me and my daughter can enjoy. So let's check if the scientists know what they're even talking about. Let's start at the start. I believe it's very important to give your little ones direction where to go and uh, let's say arrows would, <laughs> arrows would help with this. Um, but we don't want to draw on the floor, so uh, I think something like this, like painter's tape would be good and we can draw directions on it and uh, make it a bit more clear for the, for the one that's I think like a princess that's waving or something. Make sure you listen to the instructions because I don't want to repeat myself. Once your kid decides to leave you, which happens usually after like two or three minutes, uh, because their attention span is super small, it's a father's job to continue and to make that obstacle course. So in the living room, I want to put three obstacles. Uh, one is uh, here, something to draw quickly. One would be uh, bottles where she would go around and wiggle. And I think we can make a tunnel through here where she can go. So the way I want to set this up is for her to, to run through here, go underneath, uh, come out on the other side, sits here, draws a smiley and then runs off further on. Phase two for the living room, uh, no self-respecting obstacle course would be complete without a slalom. We have all of these empty bottles lying around which we're gonna use for this one. We just need to fill them up with water a little bit so they don't fall over easily. We wanna make that tunnel. For this, I think we only need an old blanket and the rest of the bottles that we just filled up with water, we're gonna use them now. Mom definitely has a better idea than me. I'm in the corridor now and I'm trying to figure out what's the best thing to do. I'm gonna use this chair to make a gateway to the master bedroom. Next thing uh, is the bedroom. Sorry, white balance was a disaster. What I was thinking is, so from the chair, she can run this way, this way, this way, this way, here, jump on the bed and go out of the room, which should look something like this. Aha, uh -huh. shoes of the bed. So I was thinking from this room, when she goes out, to run to this room, she would take this little scooter and go around the table over there, I'll show you now, and come back to here. So. You want to make self-resetting obstacles, that's the idea. So once she starts playing with the obstacle course, once she starts running, you don't have to run around behind her and fix things every time and correct things so she can do it over again. So if we decide that the obstacle is going around the table and coming back, every time she does the obstacle course again, the scooter will be at the same place so she will be able to go again. If I break a leg during this quest, it's your fault, guys. This is also a very good exercise for your legs. So once we're done with this room, this room, I wanted to run under this chair and that would be the end of the track. Is it 
time to talk things over You can't get any colder I tried to warm things up without any luck I know you know I've been waiting For something to believe in But right now it's really so So while we were shooting this episode, we got the delivery of a uh, Rode uh, shotgun microphone. This is the thingy. Rode video mic go. Who cares? Yeah, I think it's not bad at all. So let's shoot the rest of the episode with this. We're gonna race now. Who do you think is gonna win? <laughs> what is this? What is grandma cooking? Go! You will see, I will practice and I will win later. <laughs> Fun times with the family! I'm enjoying the hell out of YouTube. It's, it's amazing. It's amazing. And thanks to my creativity, of course, and all of you who are watching and writing to me and subscribing and supporting. Thank you so much for that. Uh, one more thing what I wanted to do is to shamelessly plug my Instagram account, which I honestly don't know how to do exactly. So I'm going to try like this. Uh, today's episode was super fun. Uh, you probably saw the snippets of it uh, if you're following my Instagram. If you're not, what are you waiting for? The handle for my Instagram account is uh, here, right? Now comes the worst one of all. If you uh, want to show me uh, if this was the good way to plug your Instagram account, please follow me there. This is gonna do the. This is gonna confirm the the success of this idea. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, it was an amazing episode and thank you guys for watching. Do this with your kids. They will love you to the moon. Um, and see you in the next one. No, that's not my line. Uh, see you, uh, see you tomorrow. But